think a lot of they're trying to replace Stevie T at nose tackle. The guy and and him leaving for the NFL was a huge loss, both literally and figuratively. Um, but the the they actually have four really talented options now to play on that interior D line. And as great as Stevie T was, um, they could have a really solid rotation of just guys that um, can all play at an elite level at the position. The defensive line coach has said right, right now, everybody's really good at that spot, but it's going to be about who sort of has a mastery of the system and his job and how it fits into the role because the physical tools are all there. And in a lot of ways, sometimes their job is just take up space, but um, he's really, the defensive line coach is really excited about the four guys on that, on that rotation. Uh, And then I think the coolest, interesting thing is running back Dominic Davis running back has has flipped to defensive back, uh, which is not normally a position change we see. I think you normally see like DB to wide receiver, uh, quarterback to wide receiver, maybe running back to linebacker or vice versa. Uh, but Dominic Davis, he played DB in high school, uh, but I think I think it's just a matter of getting him on the field and utilizing his skills because the, the depth chart at running back is insanely loaded. Um, and it's, it's getting even better. There's even more talented young guys coming in behind him. He's got Rojo in front of him, And so it's, he's, he's probably not going to get a lot of touches at running back, but at defensive back, they're going to have to spend a lot of time in nickel. They're going to have to have a solid two deep on that nickel and so he could come in and really have an opportunity to play a lot of time and probably play pretty decently at defensive back. Um, this is, they've only done it for a day or two, uh, and he's held his own. And you know, doing well in practice for a day or two is is not necessarily predictive of anything. But uh, it is it could be interesting. And he doesn't seem lost out there or in over his head. He's doing pretty well. So it's it's gonna be weird to see if see he if he actually makes it into a game uh playing defensive back, uh even though he was a running back like literally a day and a half ago. Uh 